Hi guys, this is Sir Michel and I'm here with the next Man of War tutorial. This tutorial will focus on artillery support for the player. In this case we will take a look at the reinforcement menu. menu. You can most times see on the right side when playing single player. And we will... Um, and this reinforcement menu will help us call in artillery support um, where we need it. So first we need to do the setup for the mission. Um, in this mission the player will, will be player zero and in the dip diplomacy menu we will um, set player one as ally to player zero. Okay. Then next we need a reinforcement. The reinforcement will be for the artillery. So we add one and we name it artillery. Then the state will stay like it is currently. Then the text is the name of uh, this reinforcement. In, in this case it will be named artillery. Then the image will be um, the image displayed on the reinforcement. In this case it's named D1, which is the Russian artillery. Um, the hint is will be shown if we mouse over the reinforcement menu. So in this case we will pick um, uh, simple artillery barrage. Then count is how often we can use it. Um, in this case we will just pick 3. Then score is how much does it cost. In this case 100. The de delay is um, how long it takes until the um, event is uh, started. In this case 20 seconds. And then we will choose an event. And it will be named artillery underscore start. Okay, and we will pick a waypoint, in this case waypoint zero. So now we will set the score total, which is the maximum amount uh, the player can have of these reinforcement points. And the current amount the player will have at the start of the game. Okay. That should be it. Now we can give the text to the artillery we have placed here in the back. We just name it artillery. Okay, then we can do the actual triggers. So we add a new trigger. We name it artillery underscore start. Then as condition we need the event we selected before in the reinforcement menu. In this case it's the artillery start event. Then we need a loop. And inside this loop we add the actor fire command. We select the artillery from before. And we will attack a position. Then we choose the waypoint we choose we have chosen before in the reinforcement menu. In this case it's waypoint zero. Um, then we activate deviation so the artillery fire won't be uh, totally ac accurate and uh, burst mode smart is okay and then we pick as only weapon the gun of the artillery nope, not MG gun, gun gun, okay so okay, this is a pretty simple script so what that pr um, pr practically does is that if the player clicks on this reinforcement menu which will show on the right side here he will be able to pick a location. So the player clicks for example here. 
and then waypoint zero will be set to this position and the artillery stands will then start firing at the position where way waypoint zero is set so the last thing we have to do is to add actually waypoint zero somewhere on the map it's we can add it pretty much anywhere so a new waypoint group and inside this group we add a waypoint and now we will increase the radius so the artillery is not so accru accurate we set the radius to 2000 which is a little bit too big 1500 should be enough okay okay the last thing I nearly forgot is to add a delay in this loop so the artillery has time to reload uh, in this mod pack I used um, D1 needs about 20 seconds to reload so we choose 25 seconds so it has enough time to aim um, yeah but that should it should it be and now we can start the mission and test it out so as you can see on the right side the reinforcement menu appeared now we have 200 um, available points out of of the maximum 500 points we have set these uh, numbers before in the reinforcement menu then we have this action uh, our artillery barrage you can see if we um, hover over it with our mouse um, we can see the hint we, cho we have chosen before and now if we click on it our cursor changes to this uh, arrow symbol and we can now select the position in this case we select this enemy trench over here where the Germans are holding their positions so we click and now it needs 20 seconds until the event we've chosen before in this case the artillery start event will be fired and after those 20 seconds the artillery should then start firing Okay. now they are aiming and fire okay they aren't really hitting anything but still better than nothing the second servo now needs a little bit time because they have to reload about 20 seconds now So now that you see that it works, um, um, you can, for example, change the um, accuracy of the artillery simply by decreasing the radius of this waypoint. For exa example, you can see these artillery splashers are all in the um, in this radius, and if we um, lower the radius, um, the artillery will be, will be more accurate. Accurate accurate so um yeah i guess that's the end of the tutorial you have now learned how to do an artillery attack and how to enable the player to choose where this artillery attack will happen okay that's it i hope you i see you next time on my next video and if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below bye